I just read a comment from one of my subscribers. He tried a little experiment to see how much time he was spending on eating and how much time he could save going on an intermittent once a day fast. He claimed to have spent about um, 10 hours from Monday through Friday for his uh, meals. I'm not sure if it's all his meals. Um, I challenge that though. There's a lot more to eating than the actual um, going to the, the, the break room or going to a restaurant and eating. Um, I find there's a lot of indirect costs in terms of time. Ever since I started fasting uh, once a day, um, sometimes even once every two days, I find I have to clean a whole lot less. And I'm not just talking about cleaning the kitchen or um, cleaning out my car from takeout. Um, I'm not just talking about that. I'm talking about my cell phone, my computers, not getting nearly as greasy. My, my uh, 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 car, you know, it doesn't have all sorts of spills in it. And I can't tell you how many times I spilled food and drink all the time. There's another cleanliness, and this one I'm not afraid to talk about, but some people might not admit. Ever since I stopped eating so much, my body odor situation has improved a lot. And I'm going to surmise that I could get away with taking fewer showers, and which is good for my skin anyhow. And, and then you think about having to wash your hands and just having to answer to food cravings, right? There's another big expense. Uh, you might spend an hour or two hours in meals. What a lot of people forget is that when you come back from a meal to go to another activity, you kind of have to reboot your mind. Uh, that's easily another half an hour for somebody like me. I have ADHD. Your mileage might, might vary there. But that's a big reason why I want to consolidate my eating into the one big meal during the day. I, 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 I could save some of these uh, transition costs, if you will. See, a, a while ago, I read about the benefits of um, polyphasic sleeping. Instead of sleeping for eight hours in a row, you sleep like two hours here and two hours there. And apparently, um, you can sleep the same eight or even shorten it to six hours. So, three two-hour sessions and you can get all the benefits of sleeping eight hours and you can save some time and sleep more deeply and I tried it and it worked and it didn't it worked in the sense that I actually did get to sleep less it didn't work in the sense that I didn't save any time because of the train of thought issue I've never seen anybody address how you can uh, continue your train of thought on a sleep schedule like that I guess if you were doing pure labor right if you were a construction worker or maybe uh, 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 you'd have to never interact with anybody, though, right? Even social skills would probably suffer. Uh, you definitely can't be a software engineer, right? You can't be a professor. Uh, but if you were a construction worker, uh, you probably couldn't do any sort of retail just because of the scheduling, right? Uh, and, and, and the train of thought interacting with your customers, right? If you have to talk to clients, I don't think it would work very well, right? If you were a retiree, you could definitely do polyphasic sleeping and save a lot of time, right? Even then, I might have trouble just for my personal activities, right? Uh, I don't know who can sleep polyphasically without a train of thought issue, right? That's part of the reason why I want to do the opposite with my eating habits, right? And consolidate into big chunks, right? Anyways, I challenge that. I would say if you add up the, the loss of your train of thought, the cleaning issues, the body odor issues and the actual eating. I wouldn't be surprised if the total cost of, of eating was four or five hours a day, easily. Uh, not to mention um, the, the, the disruptions to the other activities, right? Especially the sleeping, right? If I really should be sleeping and I, I still want to munch on something. So uh, I challenge whoever wrote that comment to recalculate based on what I just said. I, I wouldn't be surprised if you would double your estimate. Thanks for watching.